Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. There's no surprise or wonder that the governments uh, lie to their people, more or less, but they all do. In this case, unfortunately, we have the example of the United States government, um, which is um, guilty of doing that uh, very often. Uh, if you just want to pay attention and uh, see patterns, just look at the uh, war in Ukraine and you're going to realize how many times the US government <clears throat> came out and said, well, we're not going to uh, uh, send, <clears throat> I don't know, uh, missiles to Ukraine. We're not going to send uh, armored vehicles. We're not going to send tanks. We're not going to send airplanes. We're not going to send uh, long range missile systems, uh, Patriot systems, HIMARS, all those were deployed and are in the process of being deployed. I'm talking about the F-16s, which I don't think they will be deployed because I think the garbage over there will end before they are going to be delivered. That's why they drag their feet, hoping that there's going to be end, ending the war in Ukraine and they will not be called out for, hey, you did not, uh, you just dragged your feet. Well, we were in the process. So now we have the issue in, um, in uh, Israel, in Gaza, where the United States again uh, lies saying, well, we're not going to send troops to uh, Gaza. Well, if they say that, that means they're already there. Uh, and uh, today they confirmed, uh, the US government, the Pentagon confirmed that they have some commandos, com some commandos over there in Gaza, you know, helping uh, rescue hostages. Not in direct operation, just figuring out, pointing fingers, hey, um, Israeli military right here, uh, you see over there, that's where they are, go over there. They, that's all they do. They don't carry any chi chi chi, no, no, nothing like that. Um, well, obviously I'm uh, bullshitting because they are involved over there and I knew it. The first time when they sent the 2000 uh, troops ready for action, they were already there probably from previous um, operations in Israel, I'm talking. So the same thing as uh, probably will happen in Ukraine, the US and the Allies will send forces under euphemistic uh, name, uh, names like uh, peacekeeping force or love-making troops or something like this, ultimate um, uh, I don't know, just world or something like idiotic. Well, they do the same thing in Israel and they will call them peacekeeping troops. Well, that's fine as long as those uh, peacekeeping troops are going to keep the peace. But uh, I think that didn't happen for about 30 years at least. Therefore, why do you send the same garbage over there? But let's look at this little article coming from Russia today, uh, November 1st, 2023. US could deploy, quote unquote, peacekeepers in Gaza. Now, why would you send, why would you, why would the world community accept the United States sending peacekeeping forces over there, supposedly, when actually they are part of what's going on in the Middle East. Remember, they were the guys in charge for the past 30 years in the Middle East. The Soviets were gone, the Russians were weak, nobody else challenged them. So these fruits that right now these guys are just picking from the Middle East tree is a product of their work for 30 years, which is garbage. And now you want the same farmer to go over there and plant more trees like this and make sure that he's going to take care of the fruit? No, I don't want that. If you send a, uh, a, uh, a failure, a failed individual, an individual who fails all the time and has a pattern for about 30 years at least, you're not going to send the same person to solve, click, click, the same issue. You send someone else. That's only, only logical. You failed at least 31 years from 1991 when you remained the sole leader, the guy in charge of the world. And what did you do with that? Here is a fruit uh, right here in October 7th. You may say, no, that's not it. Well, what is it then? What, the Russians again? No, okay, you gotta bring some evidence for that one. So here, U.S. could deploy peacekeepers in Gaza. They will, they are already there and those will not be key, key speaker, yes. Peacekeepers, they will not be there. They will be over there to support Israel. All right, so look at this. This is an article I just uh, uploaded today. I was right, confirmed U.S. commando troops operate in Gaza. Pop, pop, pop. And remember, 
here. On the 16th of October, I was right, US prepares to deploy 2000 troops in Israel. US will fight for Israel eventually. No, they will not fight for Israel because there will be peacekeeping. That's the term. There will be peacekeeping. It's like those that uh, Antifa here in the United States of America, they're fighting uh, fascists because it's in the name. They're anti-fascist. So they by the name, by the definition, you know. So uh, remember if that Adolf would have uh, named his, I don't know what kind of troops, the love troops, would they be the love troops? Let's say the SS Waffen. Yeah? Those are the peacekeepers. Adolf's peacekeepers are the SS Waffen. Would that be really what it is? No. So blah, blah, blah means nothing, my friends, in terms. I can call myself, I don't know, uh, the general of this uh, constellation. Is it true? No. <laughs> you know? Uh, so let's read this one. Washington and its Israeli allies are reportedly discussing the potential deployment of an international force in the Palestinian enclave. It's going to be international only when they're going to have in their uh, midst uh, people from Iran, people from North Korea, from China, from Russia, and from Germany, from France, from Zimbabwe. Then it's going to be international force. Until then it's going to be defenders of Israel. US and Israel uh, officials are mulling an international peacekeeping force. Don't get fooled by international. International means two countries. It's already international. Three countries is international again. Four countries. International doesn't mean that it, it should be a majority. It's something between something internationally. So if you have an organization which is called international, that means it has two countries. That's international already. Okay? Well, the cat is acting over there. And there you go. You move around, you're gonna fall. Let me help him. Oh, he's coming over. <laughs> he doesn't like the location. All right, so um, it says international peacekeeping force in Gaza. Let me just take care of this guy. Back, obviously. Uh, should Israel successfully remove Hamas from power? They said they will send those peacekeeping forces after Israel removes Hamas from power over there. <laughs> you fell, Mofo. What can I say? <laughs> Try again. Uh, only after that. I don't think that would be the case. I think it happens during the removal of Hamas. Well, uh, we brought the hero here because he was uh, wandering around. So, I think they will deploy the troops right now. And uh, as I mentioned in, the, I, made, I made in this video, I said, yeah, US commander troops operate already in Gaza. They are there, my friends. Are you gonna do something? Leave this alone, it's a mouse, I know, but not yours. Bloomberg has reported suggesting that American troops could take part in the deployment. 100% guarantee you they will take part. As Israel escalates its ground assault, the two countries have been ex exploring operations for the future of the Palestinian enclave, including several different peacekeeping arrangements. Officials familiar with the discussions told the news agency on Tuesday. And I'm quoting, one option would grant temporary oversight to Gaza, to countries from the region. Great, backed by troops from the US, UK, Germany and France. Why, why, why these guys? Why not Russia? I mean, if you bring uh, these guys who are not from the region, why don't you bring Russia too? Bring China, India, I don't know, Zimbabwe, North Korea. Ask them at least, no? All right, little scabies is infected. <laughs> Initially, it would also include representation from Arab nations such as Saudi Arabia or the United Arab Emirates. And I, I am quoting, we can't have a rever reversion to the status quo with Hamas running Gaza. We also can't have, they decide what's going on uh, between those people. Yeah, they decide because they've been so good at it for the past, uh, I mean, since, since 1948. They were just great. Between those scores are of a variety of possible permutations that we've been looking at very closely now, as are other countries. You will not care about that. They will not care. So anyway, they will try to change again. Remember, they get involved. 
they being the outsiders the outsiders get involved in um everybody looking for your little little thing here there you go looking for the little box they will determine what's going on over there why because they can my friends because they can so nevertheless uh, this peacekeeping force will be formed uh, by uh, some contingents from probably the area which i strongly doubt is going to be just the united states of america and uh, the club not the club is that's not a club actually it's the axis it is the plantation al capone's plantation together with its vassal states and supposedly what are you doing again leave my thing alone jesus oh, beats man this guy is active today he is uh, always active and that's why i like him but he sees all kind of things here all right all right my friends uh wait for those uh, peacekeeping forces being deployed over there and uh keeping the peace as they uh, have been doing for i don't know 70 years or so right from 1948 calculate thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just